And let's say I want to try a new color scheme. Let's click this button, set current. They say a good magician never reveals his secrets, but I'm not a good magician. I'm not even a magician. So this is the secret to my success. It's a Unity asset called Color Palette, which I stumbled across in the asset store by Pygmy Monkey Tools. If you can afford the 2679 euros, then this is a really good palette. It's pretty much plug and play. Just download it, import into your scene, and you can get started. Um, I'll show you how I edited my UIs to, to make use of this. But the main benefit is it allows you to separate your color scheme or your color palette from the main UI. So you can easily switch um, the whole color scheme across multiple objects in your scene with a single click. And you can even do that um, whilst the game is running. And the way it achieves this is like so. I'm now in Unity and you, you can see I've got this color palette tab um, on the right. It comes with some default color palettes, but I've also added my own. And by clicking set current on any of these, it will automatically change all of the objects I've set up to use one of the colors in the palette. For example, I've got this object here, which is the first uh, cover image on the list of um, pieces. And if I go to the inspector, you can see that I've got this color palette object script, which you can easily add by clicking add components, uh, searching for color, and then selecting color palette object. And then here you can choose which palette you'd like to use. If it's set to current palette, it will automatically change according to whichever palettes you currently have selected. And then you can choose one of the um, indexed colors within that palette. So if I change this to um, different palettes, it will automatically select the first color in that palette. And once you've um, adjusted all of your uh, backgrounds and buttons to use this, then it allows you to experiment really easily with colors, with user interfaces, with styles, and spend some time picking a color scheme which really suits you. And of course, it means you don't have to go through all of your individual objects changing colors. It's also possible to change your color palette uh, within the game mode. So you can see here, I've got my game running, some animations are running here, and I've got my user interface loaded. If I go to the right and change the color scheme, it updates in the game, which means that you can add a button for your users to choose their own custom color scheme, or even implement a dark mode relatively easily. Another great feature is at the bottom here, you can import color palettes. I've been browsing um, Dribble for some interesting looking UI color schemes. If I find something I like, then I click on it, I copy the URL, I go back into Unity, and then there's a button here which says download URL from clipboard. And that allows you to pull the color palettes directly from the Dribbble website and simply click set current and you can experiment with that color scheme on your own user interface. There are a couple of small um, caveats to this plugin. The first being that I don't think there's a way to um, change the highlighted color or pressed color or selected color on button scripts. So if you've got a button um, with the script attached, you can't currently um, change the highlighted color to match that of your color scheme which is a bit annoying. Hopefully they'll uh, change that in a future release. I also managed to somehow get the color palette list um, a little bit messed up, but I managed to fix that by going into the Pygmy Monkey folder, uh, then color palette and resources and deleting the color palette data. And then that was recreated and everything was fixed. So all in all, a really useful little asset. I would thoroughly recommend it if you're building a user interface in Unity and you want to experiment with color schemes. It certainly saved me quite a bit of work. That's it for now. Hopefully that was useful. I'm getting really close to releasing my piano game. So please subscribe if you'd like updates on that. Take care, have a good week, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.